Commonly, obesity is the result of personal nutritional habits that each individual carries or adopt from childhood or a certain point in their lives. But the problems start when more and more people become overweighted or obese. Because as we know, medical problems like diabetes, heart diseases, high cholesterol, hypertension, and a stroke are common in this population. And the medical costs related to these problems are $10,000 higher than among the non-obese ones. To avoid these diseases in our children's future, we need to change our nutritional habits at home. But what are the schools doing about it? To find out, I visited the private school Indian Creek in Crownsville, Maryland. And here's what they told me. So the initiative to change the menus in the cafeteria was initiated by a group of parents and teachers hoping to maybe get a little more nutrition, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables in the program. We introduced the salad and deli bar that fresh sliced meats, um, whole grain breads, We got rid of a lot of the desserts. We used to have a dessert every day, um, whether it was cookies or ice cream or pudding. And only one or two days a week do we have actual desserts. But they didn't stop there. They even went farther. So about two years ago, we started looking really closely at our offerings, both in the cafeteria and during our after-school program, and we were looking to make some health improvements because until then, what we were offering in aftercare was a Coke machine with all kinds of different soda choices, um, and then we also had snacks that were not the best. They were okay, um, but they had a lot of hydrogenated oils in them, um, higher calorie than we really thought was appropriate for middle school, and so it was time to make a change. And part of that came from just myself as a parent, looking at my own kids here and wanting better choices for them, and then also just thinking about you know where we were as a middle school and it was time to, to become a little bit healthier. So the first thing was basically making the decision that we were getting rid of the Coke machine and looking into some other snack options. Once we did that, then it got a little bit easier. We put, um, just started doing an online search to see what other companies were out there, and we came across Human Vending. Um, we talked to the local rep for Human and worked with her on uh, getting these machines in here and what that would mean for our school. It would, you know, essentially means that the prices are a little bit higher than they were before, but the offerings are better for sure. Um, the kids have some control and say over what actually goes in the machine. We have a big list of items. Um, it was still important to the students to have sports drinks, so we definitely have those, even though I feel like we could still make some improvements there too, but we have those in there. Um, we definitely don't have snacks. You know, we don't have candy bars. We don't have super high calorie snacks. Um, we're away from hydrogenated oils. And um, the question was, would they use it or would they bring from home? No, they absolutely use it. Yes, it is more expensive, but they, they come and get snacks all the time, so. As we can see, in this school, Parents and teachers are committed to help eradicate obesity in children and eliminate the possibilities of chronic diseases related to it.